The name of our label is Nicked with Y and it's a play on New York City and we decided to make that into sort of an action, call to action, a verb. I started to put together a, a branding exercise around this, this line a year and a half ago and, and at the time I read an interview that Jules had given about her line. So we met and, and we connected immediately and we've been business partners since. Um, the reason why we chose swimwear is because there's such a lacking in that area. So what we're trying, what we seek to do is fill like the marketplace where it needs, not just to oversaturate. Right. Also we thought a lot of other situations where we could be wearing swimwear and we don't because we don't have the right product. So, so many roof parties or pool parties and things in the city that are outside that we'd love to get some tan out of it and we don't we don't find that wearing the current products makes sense because it's not who we are. This is called a monokini and what I wanted to do is sort of bring like the riveting structure from like the scaffoldings or reconstructing and renovating outside buildings. You can see here we've got a very comfortable bagged out edge tie here and then also our spaghetti tie here with a cute little coverage here. Not so risque as like a bikini, so, uh, as a Brazilian cut, but still not full coverage. So you can feel sexy, but still have like this whole cut. This is part of our exterior and our design world as well. This is a cover up that's sort of like a two-toned. It's like a matte black finish here, and then we have sort of an empty space, negative space with this black mesh here. So you can wear this ASIM um, across the body, and what it will do, it'll cover the necessary parts, but still keep you clean and fresh, and it's like a breathable garment, but still uber sexy. They also have an idea about the hood, that this is the way we envisioned it. It's so like 60s Uber class, but you can go from the beach or from the pool to the restaurant on that, yeah. and, and it looks like a beautiful tunic. Oui, oui. Je peux. The one that we really love to have fun in is the disco era. So this is our sequence two-piece. And once again, we're talking about fashion meets function. So here on the back, clearly we don't expect a woman to sit down by the side of the pool and then like leave her bikini behind because it's a real sequence. We also don't want her like hurting herself by chafing. So we use this really cool fabric that has the effect of the sequence without actually having like the, the pain of it. This tells a story about the men's tux. So it's like a white triangle, the uh, triangle top. And then here we have this little cute undone bow tie. And so we can actually tie it here, wear it on one side, or you can toss it around because we've made one side longer than the other. And we have this theme that's trans that translates also into the bottom too. But it's not two sides, it's just one side. Yeah, that was the idea of the social wear when People wear undone bow ties after a party and go to a hotel bar and have a good time. I always felt that that was such a good spirit. That's a, such a moment as you started saying, I want to capture certain moments in the New York lifestyle. And I'm feeling pretty confident we have something different. That is not for everyone, as you say, but it, it feels fresh, feels aspirational, people that haven't had the chance to move to New York yet can experience that through product.